Uh, Jonathan Naughton, I'm the uh, director of the Wind Energy Research Center at the University of Wyoming. I'm also a professor of mechanical engineering. Um, today's presentation was considering the diversity of Wyoming resources, specifically wind resources, with California wind resources and how Wyoming can complement what California already has, making their ability to both keep rate payers uh, costs low for purchasing electricity and enabling them to integrate the large amounts of electricity that they'd like to into the California grid. Uh, it's going to be very difficult for California to do this on their own and so our study looked at combining Wyoming wind assets with California wind assets and California solar assets so that they could get to their very aggressive targets of 33 percent and potentially 40 percent renewables um, within the next 10 to 15 years uh, which is very aggressive. Well this is the first of four studies that looked at uh, and these will all be released in the next couple of months. They're all, they were all kind of done in parallel. So we looked at Wyoming, California. We also looked at Wyoming and Colorado, how we could compare and, uh, or not compare, but how we could combine our assets for both our own intrinsic consumption, but also exporting electricity. We looked at Wyoming and Nebraska for trying to ship power east, which is kind of a new thing for us to do. And then we looked at Wyoming and Wyoming, which is basically how do we maximize the amount of wind energy that we could put on one of these high voltage DC lines. So those are the four studies that will be coming out um, between now and the end of April. I'm the academic part of this, so in terms of the actual infrastructure, that's where companies and the Wyoming Infrastructure Authority pick up and take what I've kind of provided in terms of here's the resources and here's what could be done and then convince the various groups in terms of like for instance the California Wyoming relationship convince the California system that purchasing power from Wyoming makes good sense economically and operationally once you can do that then the developers have the incentive to build the power lines so what I think is rather than telling people how to do this we enable it through providing the argument uh, that this makes sense to do